Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out uh, New World Horizon, my independent game project. Big thumbs up going out to Game World. This video is going out to you guys. Uh, we'll start right off at the character select screen. We do have five different characters, each kind of how you want to play. If you're going to be an adventurer, a miner, a farmer, an outlaw, or an outdoorsman, each of the characters gets a small boost to their skill set and we'll start off with the outlaw character because he's probably the most rugged uh, to start with first quest right here this one's kind of subtle the way he's worded there is no quest log but he does warn you of a uh, an alligator nesting area over here and in the starter level it is kind of isolated so there's uh, nothing wandering around um, but a player can come over here and start practicing their combat skills and being that it's alligators the first combat skills will be lower attacks and those will probably be done at least with a standard mouse uh, with thumb sweeping across the Z, X and C keys uh, you see when we get into combat you see the Z and the X and the C those are all lower swings and they also uh, once a creature is dead, you can use those attacks to begin skinning, like you see here, and then you can skin the various animals for meat. A uh, great starting level as these uh, characters, the damage does all scale by level. And then once you get your alligator, you come talk to this guy, and uh, then he'll send you out to hunt a deer, which will take you a little farther out. Uh, next NPC we probably want to look at is the fisherman. This is where we could buy some fishing supplies, uh, worms, and a pole. And I did get a few complaints on this. And I think it was just um, when a fish does nibble, the bobber will pop down and then pop right back up. And if you just right click like I do here, it'll just reel it in and you won't catch the fish. You do kind of have to wait till he does take it. And then sometimes when you cast, uh, you will lose your babies like we did here. So um, I guess just be patient and um, I'll show you what um, I'll take a canoe out here one of our newly added features uh, we just recently added some foliage and the new uh, buoyancy system so um, actually the buoyancy system working pretty solid the foliage though there's still still some uh, coverage with the grass over farming it does kind of conceal farming and it does conceal some of the traps that the natives will um, drop so we still have some issues to work out with the new foliage but it does really look nice uh, there we go there was a bite we see the bobber went down and it kind of stayed down for a moment uh, once you right click you do enter into this fishing kind of a combat thing and this is done with the mouse wheel you find the game does use the mouse wheel quite a bit and you just want to reel him in without the line breaking and you don't want to let too much slack off so if he does um, start kind of swimming towards you, you do want to reel it in quickly and there you go then you can uh, catch a fish uh, currently the canoe animation I don't have an oar attachment um, you know I'm really uh, unsure on that I do basically have him doing the motions of paddling left paddling right or back paddling so you get three directional controls on that but currently you can steer the boat with a fishing pole in hand or a lantern in hand or a gun in hand and still steer the boat around so that's kind of a new feature uh, we're going to take our newly found fish up here where there's a campfire that I think is constantly burning so you constantly do have some place to at least cook your food and you just walk right up to campfire and press your food button or the F key and it'll um, pull out food and cook any cooked meat you have uh, traveling up the road I think the next guy we'll see is the trainer and this guy he basically uh, this character here does no damage but he'll let you uh, practice fighting of various difficulties um, and sorry about the looping video there we've seen but it'll let you get some practice and and then you can take that to the real world and real world and practice fighting against some of the cannibals now not all of the natives are trying to eat you but 
quite a few of them are. So um, there we go. And out in the wild, there we did find us a deer uh, for that quest. So that another example of the skinning. You'll see me doing those heavy lower attacks on the carcass here, and sometimes take it takes a couple more than one chop to get the animation started and there you go and I think we've made some changes to that I've got some blood squirting out animation added to the skinning thing but so you see that and there we go and then once you see the bone carcass you should be able to loot some meat off of that uh, now we're going to run into town and show you some of the other resource gathering errors but first we're going to stop by the smith and here you can pick up a level 1 or a level 2 hatchet and pickaxe. A higher level gear will become available later. Uh, we also have um, five different grades of weapon upgrades from this guy here. Uh, quite a few NPCs in this first town. Um, you'll see right across the streets where we'll buy our house deed. Uh, and then this market shop guy, he sells lanterns and ammo. The guy on the left. Uh, the rancher, he's uh, still in the works selling cows and pigs. Uh, let's see, there's a banker, a saloon where you can save your game. Um, the banker where you can store your gold if you don't want to carry it around. Uh, I let this one play because this does show one of the tougher opponents, and this is the archer character. Uh, if you are standing uh, still, the character will pretty much put it right on you. If you are moving, uh, she will. She does track where you're going, so she will lead your fire and definitely one of the tougher opponents to kill. So, I did want to show this. She does. I do take stand still just for a second. She puts one right in my head. But um, go ahead and. Our original goal was to get out here and show some lumbering. Now these are small trees. These will drop logs, which you can sell at the blacksmith for a little gold. I don't recommend it for money, though. It is kind of a there's definitely better ways to get money, but it does seem a lot of people just they see the guy buying logs and they'll just instantly take up um, uh, lumberjacking. Uh, but with some wood, you can get a little fire going in the mine and come in here and hunt for gems and the banker in town as well will buy those and once you have completed the deer quest um, I believe uh, the captain which uh, where he started at he will also buy gems at a higher price so um, now farming the larger trees won't drop logs they will uh, they will just drop huge trees which can then be chopped into lumber and I don't I think I even have a video for that, but uh, once we do buy a house deed, um, we can place our house and start adding the lumber to it and start building that. And it does provide some nice benefits to the character. Not only does it give you a spot to a little desk and chair, you can sit down and eat and you get a bonus health boost when eating a cooked dinner. Um, seated, uh, but you also do get a bed where you can sleep and it will save your game. And we are filling up our canteen with some water, and I think I show a little bit of exploring. Uh, there are quite a few caverns and crypts, uh, and I have recently turned the light up um, underground because it's just the it is quite dark. Uh, but I'll show a little bit of it here. Some of the caves and caverns. And I think here's a cavern. We've got a big guy that comes out here and just pretty much one hits me. Yeah, this guy's huge. And then we also have some crypts down here. I think I come down here and cook a little food on the fire and do some exploring. And I get into it with a, an archer. Uh, and a warrior, so it's kind of a little bad combination, uh, the two of them. Uh, but anyway, after some exploration, uh, definitely lots to explore, uh, lots of riches to be had, and then once a player uh, starts gaining a little bit of money, eventually then he will be able to get a boat and 
get off of the island and start exploring some of the more difficult areas. Uh, we are still expanding. I do have I think, 28 uh, islands. Uh, the first island, the uh, starter island, though, it's definitely uh, weeks of content, probably in quests, as originally the game was all designed on a single island. And then after the island expansion, uh, we, we definitely still do have a uh, long way to go and a lot of space to grow into. But anyway, um, whoops, boy, I jumped ahead there on that scene there. Uh, see if we can get out on our little boat. And uh, the little boat doesn't have a lot of armament, but it is quite maneuverable. Um, but then eventually we'll get into a bigger ship that's got some weapons on it and then the character will be able to defend itself a little bit better at sea and get to some of the other islands um, and each of the islands has their own little special things to them and the trade city or the swamp island or just uh, various dungeon stuff but anyway i hope you guys uh liked our little video walkthrough uh definitely go and check us out on steam and, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, check it out. Uh, head on over there to newworldhorizon.net. Drop me a line. Drop me a memo. If you have any great ideas for it, we'd love to hear from you. But uh, anyway, guys, until next time, be safe and good hunting. Woohoo!